Now we are just covering the theory in this video, but remember electricity is dangerous and can be fatal. You should be qualified and competent to carry out any electrical work. This wire is an emergency path to try and save you from an electric shock. Ideally, the ground wire in the circuit will never be used, but should a ground fault occur, then the wire is on standby, ready to take over. Under normal operating conditions, the electricity will flow into your home through the service panel and circuit breaker and then into the hot terminal of the receptacle. If we plug something in, then it could make its way over to the neutral wire and then out through the neutral incomer and over into the transformer outside the property. Again, I'm just animating the flow of electrons in one direction for simplicity. In the event of a ground fault, which is where the electricity took an unexpected route back to the source instead of passing through an electrical device, for example the hot wire came into direct contact with a metal casing, then the electricity will flow through the metal body and into the connected ground wire where it will continue over and then either pass through the neutral or a separated ground buzz bar and then up through the neutral wire and over to the transformer. As this occurs, the current in the circuit is going to increase dramatically and almost instantly. In most cases, the sudden and large rise in current is detected by the circuit breaker, which will trip to cut the power to the individual circuit. The electricity will continue to flow into the building and into the other circuits on the service panel. The fault will then need to be corrected and the circuit breaker flipped again. We've covered ground, hot and neutral wires and faults in great detail in our previous tutorial. Links down below for that. Okay guys, that's it for this video, but to continue your learning, then check out one of the videos on screen now and I'll catch you there for the next lesson. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, as well as the engineeringmindset.com.